All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to create three uh, checks, EFTs, to record the payments for the loan for the month of October, November, and December. So let's quickly do that. Um, let's go back to QuickBooks. Where is my QuickBooks? Right here. No, it's not. Um, here we go. So under expenses, I can create the expense with by adding an expense. Uh, who do we pay? Ooh, I didn't ask you which bank to pay. So let's just create your own bank. In fact, let me do a clarification note real quick here. Um, set up a vendor with your bank called um, your initials. Actually, why don't we just call it Dr. Parra's Bank? Where your initials with your initials at the beginning? Um, and let me highlight this to be yellow. And let me add this as a clarification. Clarification. Um, all right, so let's do that. FP, Dr. Parra's bank, right? Um, it's a vendor. That's all we have to do for now. Uh, payment date. So the first payment date is going to be 10 31 2018. The reference number, I'm going to call it an AFT uh, 2018 10 31. What payment method do you use? I used, uh, um, let's add a new one, EFT. It's not a credit card, it's just an EFT, no location. All right, so the category details is exactly what we would do in a journal entry. This is your, this is your cash that's going out, so now we gotta record debits on this side, right? So first of all, I gotta record two things for every payment that I make for $1,132, right? So let me, oh, we don't type in the amount. It's got to match the 1,000. Uh, so the interest expense for that month of October should be whatever your station table is. And I could have done that one at a time. So this is why it's useful to have my, um, my amortization table. So interest for month of October. Um, it's not going to any customer or anything else. And then I'm going to have my uh, long-term liability or your loan reduced by how much? Your loan has to be reduced by 962.76. And that's going to match the 1,132 and 26 cents. Let's make sure that's the case. It is the case. So then, as you can see, this is principal amount paid for the loan ah notice that if i put the loan here it automatically will credit that it means it will reduce the balance of what we owe for the loan and i could have created a contract account instead but i chose not to um and that's it i'm gonna do a new in fact i'm gonna save record it and i could pretty much um create a copy of this so let's let's close it and i could just grab that same expense and just duplicate it couldn't i just duplicate that um um let's view and edit and we can hide this and go to more and we could have made it a recurring expense and then we could adjust it so let me just copy this and let me make this 11 30 2018 an eft interest expense will be different the interest expense for november would be 165.48 so i just have to adjust that right and then the loan will be 966.77 the reduction of my principal and interest for month of november It is 
11326, so I'm missing a penny. So it's 77 and 48. Let's go back. So let's add. Let's add it to your interest expense. Let's do 49. Then I can balance to the same payment. Um, or I should have just gone to the other one. Whatever. Uh, so then let's do save. Hide. Let me go back. The reference number. Let me add a net reference here. EFP 2018-1130. That's it. So let me save it again. Then I'm going to copy it again and make this payment on 12-31-2018. EFT, the reference will be EFT 2018-12-31. Uh, My interest expense for December should be, once again, the amount that I'm paying for interest that was accrued for that month, which is just this amount and the difference should go to my principal um, and both of them should add to 1,132.26. In my case, in your case, you'll have a very separate uh, different amount, but this is basically, this is basically it. And if I were to look at my chart of accounts and look at the balance of the loan as of the end of at the end of my December 31st date, this should be matching my amortization table at the end of 2018 with 37,778 And that's what I'm gonna be looking at, making sure that that matches your particular, um, your particular numbers. And I already have um, who has what numbers, et cetera. Okay, thank you.